Right, we're climbing up Beacon, Hurley Beacon. We're gradually getting up it. Right over there in the distance, we've got um, the Beacon Hill and Trig Point. Right ahead of me, you can see you'll see a path come into view in a minute. There are lots of heather turning up this. That's Beacon Hill. And down below you've got Wickham, Wickham Valley. No, a bit further over, you can't quite see it. Um, over the other side. That'll be um Bicknoller Hill. Yeah, Wickham Hill is over the other side. Can't quite see it at the moment. And then you'll have Paradise Coombe somewhere down there as well. There is another you can't quite see how it folds at the moment, you can't quite see. But in the distance, that is Beacon Hill. And we're on Hurley Beacon. And we're doing very, very well. And I'm glad I feel so rested assured getting that earlier two hour start because to be quite honest, I get even earlier sometimes. But, um, basically it would have cost me £13.50 as opposed to £6.50. I've had to pay £7 more, but to be quite honest it's worth it. To have that knowledge that you don't have to rush. Can you imagine, I'm so, I'd, if I'd got the later one, like I'd still be on the bus now. I wouldn't have even started the walk yet. It would be midday by the time I was up here. So, yeah, and I can enjoy the walk. I can, we've, got, we've got the, the big hike, the big hill hike, basically done. We're nearly at the top, folks. Not long now. I've got this lovely heather coming out, though. Isn't it gorgeous? But it mixes really no... We haven't got any dead bracken here, so there's no brown. Only like a light brown of the, of the heather. Right over there is a pathway following. Different pathways. You've got the Macmillan Way. Um... different routes that you can follow. This one's heading straight towards another trick point. Not yet, we've got to do the beacon first. I'll probably have a rest day tomorrow. It's nice, it's a really good camping weather though. Now this is the top of the beacon now. Here we are, this is the bit we can walk around. Approach from this side. Here it is. Oh, brilliant. Here we go, we're going to climb up on the top of the Hurley Beacon. Where the Neolithics are buried. Where Saxon armies once roamed here. The big roads, their marching routes. Sometimes this is piled up high. I've put a stone on the top before now, but every now and again it gets flattened. I don't know why there's so many flies up here. Unless it's uh, where animals have died or something. It does seem to be bits of bone around. Somebody's left their sock behind it. The lost sock. The missing sock. A few people up there. Over there, right ahead, that's the trick point I'll be heading for in a minute. And then we'll get views of Hinkley Point. I can already see some of the cranes now. And here we've got a beautiful view from up here. 
on the Hurley Beacon, folks, of the gorgeous Quantox and down in the Coombs, look. Beautiful Coombs, Hodder's Coombe, Holford Coombe, Slaughterhouse Coombe, oh, Lady's Edge, Shepherd's Coombe. They're all down there. Ladies Coombe, yeah. They're all down there, everyone. And you can't see it yet either, but well, you've just got about right in the distance is the hill fort, Dowsborough Hill Fort, right over there, which I've also done this year, so I don't need to do that. I've been in and out all the time here. In 2022, I've done um, Smith's Coombe. And, and I've been to the old Fox and House. I've been, I've done, I don't know, I did Paradise Coombe last year, but I've done <sighs> bits of Weakham area. I've, I've done uh, lots of Bicknoller this year. The plan today is to go down what's called Lower Hair Nap. And then head for Holford. Come up Holford Glen and go down Weakham Coombe. That's when I'll decide whether I ought to try and get the bus from Weakham area or come back to Bitnoller. And like I said, I've been all over these fields. You've got a big barrow and a little barrow. They've actually got proper names. Um, and then just down beyond that wood there, there's a car park. Somewhere over there, my sister had her ashes scattered, I believe. I don't know exactly. Um, now I could have, a minute ago, I emerged from down the bottom there. I could have followed a track around the edge of that woodlot and come up over there and walk around the corner. Okay? I didn't have to come up here, but I wanted to come up here. But there is a track that you can follow there to take you to that car park, to take you to um, the Crocombe area, Crocombe Gate, I think I call it. Right over there, we've got Will's Neck. You've got Triscum. The Triscum stone will be in that wood. That wood right over there. I'm getting to know my areas. I've just seen my bus going along. I'm getting to know my, my land. My Somerset. I'm overpowered by it. I'm going to take some some photos. I'm going to take some photos first. Right, the main there. aim of today was to get here via Crocombe. Trying out a new route after getting off the bus and I've achieved it. So even if all the, the camera died on me now, I've got a spare camera which doesn't always take any pictures, but at least I've done this bit. Because I've actually been up here before and walked right down and joined up those paths, but I've never done that before. So that was that wasn't too bad. I'm I, I'm quite surprised how well I done it. I'm quite surprised how well I feel. I did ask the trees for some energy yesterday when I was in the wood. Um, I always ask them for energy and help. They're so good, and and I went up there and got, enriched my lungs with pure oxygen as well. Anyway, we're going along these ancient tracks that from thousands of years people have walked on. I mean, they might have been landscaped a bit, I don't know. But I've got a feeling the basic, there was basic pathways here anyway. And of course, when you're further away, as we'll notice later, this beacon will stick out more. Because we're on it, it just looks like flat and not very prominent, but from a distance Hinkley Point just come in interview. I'll zoom in, it might be misty until we get closer to it. That's um that large structure that'll come into view now, that's Hinkley B. 
That is supposed to be being starting to be decommissioned. I think it was supposed to start this year. I know there have been some delays. They've had a couple of big documentaries about Hinkley this year. Showing everything about it. History of it. What their plans are. Uh, I've got a feeling they're building another one like it at Sizewell in Suffolk. Um, who knows? I mean, it's supposed to be clean, but it's very dangerous if it, if it goes wrong. Radioactive. Right, so over there I can see like a camper van right over there. That's where a car park is. And there's a road from Crocombe that comes up, a steep road. Or you can go over to Nether Stowey, over Stowey, for, on a road as well, to get up here for those people with cars. I've actually driven up to, with when I had Alberta, I used to often drive to Triscum Stone along a very narrow, steep and quite dangerous looking track I used to go up with Alberta. She was my base up there. I mean, I really miss her now, you know. I'd love to go off more and do the camping stuff, you know. Because I used to sleep inside the van, you know. I didn't really bother with the tent. Um, but now, oh God, it's hard work without a vehicle to get in anywhere. You can't carry so much stuff. But it's done, never mind, something might happen yet. I'm not wearing too much this year. I'm actually, it's good for me to have nothing like a vehicle and learn how to get to places without, without having to go on my own steam, if you see what I mean. It makes you think how to get to places. Ah, a little Christmas tree there. Hello, little pine tree. We're going up there, but you can go down that way to the car park down there. I can see the trig point. We'll probably link up first with um, higher hair nap. But I did want to do lower hair nap for some reason. I did. There we go, there's the beacon. We're doing really well, Sheila. You've got here, girl, we've done it. You found another route, and you could try that green way another time. There's something else for me to explore, so straight away I found another route. So here we have it. Go ahead, that on Zoom, everyone. Hurley beacon. Here's a bronze age, bronze age people. There they go, look. Rich in archaeology and wildlife. For thousands of years, people have lived and worked on and around these hills. And yet their actions have influenced the way the landscape looks now. The existence of monuments from prehistory onwards, including the Bronze Age burial mounds, Carnes and Iron Age hill forts. Stand anywhere here and you will not be far from a Bronze Age barrow or cairn. There are over a hundred of these monuments on the hills, marking the burial places of people who used the land around 4,000 years ago. Hurley Beacon is still one of the dominant features in the landscape and has survived well despite historic disturbance. Probably the result of antiquarian excavation. It's been used as a fire beacon as well in the past. A place of communication to signal danger, such as the arrival of the Spanish Armada. And more recently, it's been used to celebrate the coronations and royal weddings. It's a scheduled monument, lies within a site of special scientific interest and is protected by law. We want people to be sensitive because a lot of the archaeological Deposits are irreplaceable. So there we go. Well, I've probably read that before, but it's always good to do an update. 
It's always good to do an update, folks. Over and out on just a second.